So this one is a classified uh, paper too, which is related to um, physics. The topic kinetic particle model of the matter, topic 2.1. Uh, so the first one, a liquid is evaporating. The liquid is not boiling. So what actually happened in evaporation? In evaporation, the most energetic molecules which are there at the surface, they gain energy from the surrounding, from their neighbors, and they escape. So which statement about the liquid is correct at an instant in time? Any molecule can escape from any part? No. Only the most energetic and from the surface only. What about statement B? Any molecule can escape, but only from liquid surface? No, not any molecule. It will always be the most energetic. This, is, this statement is correct. Liquid surface, but not any molecule. It should be the most energetic molecule. Only molecule with enough energy can escape and only from the liquid surface. So that's correct. This is explaining the evaporation and evaporation happen or occur when the most energetic molecules or the molecules which are having sufficient amount of energy escape the liquid surface. That's why C is the right answer. Now the diagram shows the two cylinders connected by a narrow tube uh, fitted with a tap. So one cylinder contains 80 cm cube of a gas at a pressure of 2 exponent 5. The other cylinder is vacuum. So in, in the beginning, there is no, no gas here. Then the volume of the <coughs> cylinder is like the volume of the cylinder is 20 cm cube and the tap is open that the it can flow. The temperature remain constant. If the temperature remain constant, we use a formula that P1 V1 equals P2 V2. What about the first pressure? The first pressure is 2 exponent 5. What about the first volume? Because there was no gas initially. So the first volume will be 80. The new pressure we don't know. What about the final volume? Because when we open this tap, when the tap is open, it's not like the, all the gas will transfer to 20 cm cube. Some, there will be a gas in 80 and there will be a gas in 20. So the total volume of the gas will be 80 plus 20. That is equal to 100. Because when we open the tap, some of the gas will diffuse from the 800, 80 cm cube cylinder to 20 cm cube cylinder. So as a result, and the gas will occupy, because the gases does not have a fixed volume, it takes the Volume of the, the volume of a gas is same as the volume of a container. So the total volume of the container is now is 100 because 80 plus 20. Then we just simplify 2 into 10 power 5 times 80 divided by 100. So when we simplify, this will match with option B. So B will be the right answer. Is it uh, clear, this question? Any doubt in this? Not that clear. Okay. Then we have question three, which is also related to uh, the kinetic model of the matter, related to the solid liquid and a gas, the gas laws as well as the evaporation. A student splashes water on her face. Here are the three statements about the effect. So student splashes the water on her face and the, the statements, three statements are there. The water uses energy to evaporate. That's correct. From the face. The water gain energy from the student. That's also correct. And the face of the student cools. That is what happened. Like example, uh, it's very common. Like if you use a perfume on the skin, you will feel a cooling effect. That cooling effect because a perfume which mainly contain a, a percentage of an alcohol. So as a result, alcohol is having a low boiling point. So it can easily vaporize. So when alcohol vaporize or evaporate, so the molecules which are left behind, they will have low energy. That's why it produce a cooling effect. Same thing happen. Like if, in, if it's a hot day and you uh, wash your face, so as a result, you feel a cooling effect. The why you feel a cooling effect because the water molecule gain energy from your skin and escape. And same thing, the sweating also helps the body to cool down by the process of evaporation. So all the three statements are correct. That's why D is the 
right answer. In question four, a gas is heated in a sealed container. When we say a sealed container, it means the volume is fixed. If the volume is fixed, what is the relation between pressure and temperature? They are directly proportional. Higher temperature, higher pressure. What happened to the molecules of the gas? So if we increase, if it is heated, the pressure will also increase. The options are the average distance between the molecule increase. No, because if the container is a rigid container, a sealed container, so the volume does not change at all. The space occupied by the gas molecule will be same as the volume of cylinder. The average kinetic energy, the molecule will move faster. So the kinetic energy, which depends on the speed, that will also increase. The mass of the molecule, the mass of the molecule does not change at all. And the volume of each molecule also does not change. When you supply heat energy, the gas expands, but not the molecule. Like some misconception about the expansion of a gas, some students think that when we supply the heat energy to the gas, so the molecule expanded. Molecule size increase. That's totally wrong. What actually happened is the spacing between the molecules increases if the if it is a flexible substance or a, a, a we have a container which can, which is fitted with a piston or a movable part so that can expand. So remember always the mass and the volume of the molecule never changes. The space between the molecule can change depends on the container. If it's a rigid container, the space does not change. But if it is a flexible, yes, the, uh, the space between the molecules can change. Is it uh, clear, this question? Any doubt in this? Yes. No, clear. Okay. Then in question five, a water in a beaker evaporates when left on the bench for a period of a time. So... If we left the container which is filled with water on a bench with a period of a time, so we, we find that the level decreases. Three factors that will affect the rate of evaporation, like that will change the evaporation rate. The wind speed, yes, the wind speed does affect the surface area, large surface area, faster rate, and higher temperature will also affect. The wind speed will affect temperature, but not the volume. Wind speed, surface area, but not the volume. And surface area, temperature, but not the volume. Because if I take a large container and a large surface area, and I take a small container and a smaller surface area, so rate of evaporation will be faster in A as compared to that of B. Because more molecules are exposed to the surroundings, so the evaporation rate will increase. 